Start by peeling 5 large lemons and 1 orange. Don't throw away any of the peel, freeze them and use them at a later date. Cut the lemons and orange into halves. Into a bowl and sieve, squeeze the lemons and orange. Into a saucepan, pour 200 milliliters of mirin. Then pour 200 milliliters of cooking sake. Bring to a boil on a high heat. Then next, carefully ignite the mirin and sake. Once the flames have extinguished, pour into the pan 400 milliliters of dark soy sauce and add 10 grams of dashi kombu. Bring the sauce to a simmer on a high heat. Once simmering, turn off the heat. Next, transfer the sauce to a large bowl, then add a large handful of dried bonito flakes. Once the sauce has cooled down, add 200 milliliters of rice vinegar, add the lemon and orange juice squeezed earlier, yuzu fruit, which are typically used to make ponzu sauce, aren't readily available in the UK, as an alternative, I'm using 50 milliliters of this yuzu seasoning. If unavailable, substitute with 50 milliliters of additional lemon juice. Next, cover with cling film and leave in a cool and dark space for at least 24 hours. I'll be leaving mine for around a week. The ponzu flavor will have intensified in flavor and umami. Next, pass the ponzu sauce through a sieve and muslin cloth. Alternatively, you can use kitchen paper. Finally, transfer to a bottle and store in the fridge. This will keep for months and months and will continue to deepen in flavour as it matures over time. Please try this at home as I'll be uploading lots of recipes in the future where this sauce will be a key ingredient. Of course, ponzu sauce is readily available in all Japanese stores, but in my opinion, they pale in comparison to making it yourself. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't done so already, click on the subscribe button to see more videos. Until next time, bye bye.